advanced energy MDX magnetron drive, 5 kilowatts. But this system is uh, powered using 2083 phase with a neutral and ground connection. There's a 20, 37 pin connector for interfacing it for external control. And it can also be controlled via RS232 port. Uh, remotely. The system has an emergency switch push button on the front. And there's a mode selector switch, off mode, lock mode, and program mode. Soon after power up, once you select the mode switch in the lock mode, you press the off button in order the system to initialize there's a test button to verify that all the LEDs are working and there are two digital displays one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side the left hand side display will display kilowatts power voltage and amperes the actual output of the power supply and the right hand side display can display the set point or all the or the actual output power all the parameters like kilowatts and voltage and amperes and kilowatt hours and minutes uh, are displayed on the right hand side display in the center the system displays the interlock status right now I have a cheater plug attached to the 37 pin connector and hence the water vacuum and the auxiliary interlocks are made which is displayed by the LEDs so in order to program the power supply select the program mode and press the level button and rotate the knob to modify to the power level desired by pushing the knob the last digit can be changed uh, by not pushing it so not pushing the knob, the power level will be incremented in steps of 5 at the last digit. We push the ramp button and adjust the knob to the desired time duration uh, in minutes. Uh, within that duration, the power level will reach to whatever the set point it is. The power supply has three regulation modes, power mode, current mode, and voltage mode. To get the voltage mode, both these LEDs should be on. So, for power mode, just press the left-hand side switch and current mode, right-hand side switch. I'm going to select the full output 5 kilowatts and ramp it up in about 25 seconds so once the desired level and ramp time are set press the on button right now The right hand side display is showing the output power and the left hand side display shows the current value. I have connected a 50 ohm 5 kilowatt dummy load to the output. And this is the standard impedance mode in standard impedance mode the maximum output voltage possible is 500 volts and the maximum output current is uh, 10 amperes 
and by changing the configuration of the jumpers uh, the system could be changed to either high impedance or low impedance mode where the maximum possible current and voltage values will be different. For example for low Z mode the, the maximum current would be 12.5 amperes and the voltage possible is 800 volts the output voltage at any point of time the product of current and voltage will give us the power so I'm going to test the system in current mode so I'm setting the output current to 9.3 amperes and using the same time duration so the right hand side display is showing the kilowatts of power output and the left hand side display is indicating the actual current so that's the set point uh, 9.3 amperes and the output power is 4.33 kilowatts. I'm going to turn it off and set the output voltage regulation mode. I'm setting the output voltage to 490 volts. Turning it on. Now let's display output voltage on the left hand side display. So the LED here indicates the ramping is over and then the set point, it has reached the set point, that is 490 volts. And the plasma and output LEDs indicate that the system is sending out the power. Thank you, sir. Wasn't it cool?